Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday morning market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and you can see, you know, the lower lows continue. They bounce this one. We had a green day, breaks a streak of five red sessions. Uh, what we're doing now is we're just kind of battling back in and around the daily mid band. Uh, what the bears would like to do ideally would be to take out yesterday's low. That's going to be a pretty tall order down at 2671.25. I think it's a much more important day for the bulls. They have what could potentially be a higher low, 2603 versus 2671.25. Um, ideally, it would be a little deeper, but that might be deep enough. It's up to the bulls whether it's deep enough. If it's deep enough, then what the bulls need to do is hold this low and start to build back up and through. And when I say back up and through, you're nothing until you take out 28.17.75. Um, this is all longer term stuff, obviously. So it was another really nice trading day. Really nice trading day. Um, uh, Wednesday was about a 90 handle day, all toll for us after we, after we uh, covered uh, the overnight stuff. Then uh, we got into yesterday, 95 was a fantastic short. Um, then we got long down 26.85, that was fantastic as well. And then, you know, the afternoon got pretty whippy and choppy, but we ended up with a nice little short there at 31. So, and 32 overnight was good for a couple of overnight trades. So every one of these moves up to 32 has been defended so far. That's not good news for the bulls. And the fact that you're starting to see lower lows here on the hourly chart, also not good news for bulls. The hourly mid band comes in at 24. Everything from 22 half to 26, which is where your daily mid band is, is going to be pretty important. That's the over under line for me, the bull bear line, whatever you want to call it. I want to be long above, I want to be short below. If they can convert it to support, they can come back up and tense, test potentially the monthly pivot, take out yesterday's high, or maybe even test yesterday's high. If they can't, then a break of daily pivot is going to bleed back to the round number 2700. And then, you know, it just depends on how slippery things want to get on a Friday. Um, it's certainly been a down week. If you're looking at highs and lows, well, this is, you know, this is all fine and dandy, but it's still a lower high versus here, which is a lower high versus here, which is a lower high versus back here. Lower low, lower low, lower low. So let's not confuse this with an uptrend. Okay. Um, and let's not confuse this with Everything's okay to buy dips now. When you're losing daily mid band in Globex and taking it out by 12 handles, it's up at 26 right now. It's not necessarily, you know, a no fear dip buy environment. Okay. Do I think this dip will be bought? Yes. What's more important is what happens with the rallies. Are the rallies muted and are they sold to lower lows? I don't know. You had a big old 60 handle rally yesterday, but that's what bear market rallies are. They all feel like the end and they all feel great, you know, unless you're early short, in which case they rip your face off. So it's so important when you're dealing with bear market rallies, you can be long, which we were yesterday with an eye on the exit door. You can stand aside, which is hard, but it's actually a good thing. You just have to put all that FOMO away and just, and just wait for the thing to finish. And it might be 20 handles, it might be 30 handles, 40, 50 handles. If, if you're not built that way, you just have to wait. What you can't do is get short and add and add and add and add like so many people out there. So many people out there are just so completely misguided in how they trade the markets, especially in bear markets. Because first of all, most new traders have never traded one in their lives. They don't even know what to do with it. Okay. And I'm not saying we're in a full blown bear market, but we've been, we've had a bear market tape now for the last couple few weeks. It just is. When you're living below the 200 day, when you are living below it, and we are, we are living below the purple line. We have been on a continual basis pretty much since October 23rd, with the exception of this move up to the 50 and the 100, but that got rejected back pretty quick. And now we're starting to get comfortable underneath the 200 again. My point is, this is not the kind of market where you can fight price on the short side when it wants to do one of these bear market rallies. It will literally go 50 handles. And you'll be done. And when you're done and blown up and all the horrible stuff that comes with it, then it will reverse and go down and make a lower low, which will take your brain and turn it to jello. 
don't have a brain that's jello. Either get long or stay out or wait, be patient, wait for it exa to exhaust, wait for a couple of, of lower highs, which is what we did when we got short 31, and then go ahead and do what you gotta do. How do you do that? Well, that's the stuff that we teach in here every day. And if, if, if my little rant there speaks to you, we would love to meet you and I think we can help you over the rest of this year and well in the next year because this is gonna stay a very volatile, very trader-friendly tape. So you might as well learn how to trade it from somebody that knows what they're doing. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. I'll be out with some more stuff on social. Until then, trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.